Hi, I'm Mel and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. I post on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays at 6pm with the occasional bonus video. That will be an open invite or a collab with my fellow YouTuber friends. So I hope you enjoy. And that is 6pm UK time because I am British, I am in the UK. So I hope you enjoy. Today's video I'm going to be sharing you with you some ways which are really easy to wear knot wraps. Um, I have a whole pile here, which is my collection. I literally wear these all the time. Um, work to work out or like just weekends and stuff. But there is more ways to do this, but I want to learn them more than more before I teach you them. And you can use, you don't have to use a knot wrap on your hair, but I want to again learn them before sharing it with you. So I'm going to share with you three easy ways to wear a knot wrap in your hair and these are super cute you can use one or you can get one or you can get as many as you want they're all from Lush except this one which is my Vera Moda one um, which is a smaller one so some of them have come up in a bigger size this is my Vera Moda one which is a smaller one this is an Easter themed one which I think is cute wrapped up in your hair anyway that's a smaller one and I believe ah, so my cherry one that's a smaller one and this one is a smaller one <coughs> oh. and then these are larger ones so I'm going to share with you these three easy ways to wear knot wraps in your hair and we are going to start by making a, a bow basically a bow turban so I am going to use my paisley patterned one, this is from Lush um, and you can see it is quite big. So first of all you want to take your a corner to the opposite corner and put them together like so. Okay so you want the two corners that you've put together at the front of your head and the line at, your, at the back. And you want to make sure they are even so you don't see the back in. Okay. I still like to wear this quite high up in my hair. It is up to you where you want. If you want it right down your forehead, especially if you're in like on holiday or something, this is quite cool. Or vacation, should I say. Then you want to bring these two bits the sides together and tie into a bow on the front of your head and then just play around with it you can see this bits come out so you just want to tuck it in to make the bow And there is your turban. Again, like I said, I like to wear this more high up on my head, but it is probably naturally to be down there. You want to tuck in anything like a label or so that your whole head is covered. But I think to have a cover up for the beach or something like around the pool, I think that is really cute for you. And you just need to play around with your bow basically to make sure it looks right and this is it the finished one and i just played around with the bow in the mirror as you can see it looks much better now but i think this is perfect even like just for a beach cover-up i think this is probably what i would wear this more for beach cover-up or just like out on holiday on vacation but i think it's really cute yeah that looks much better so that is your bow headband okay so for look number two I want to do the single bow headband and for that one I'm going to use the white one this is a fairly new one out um, and it smells like strawberries from my new Lush packet 
So again, all you do is you fold corner to corner. Like so. And then you roll it up like a, like it would be like a, so it's all rolled together. Like so. And this is probably the one I wear the most or near enough the same. So then I put it round my head. for size more than anything and this which is not sitting right you just play with till it does and then you just tie it in a knot like that and then take it off the back of your head keeping that shape and then because you've got the knot in this is when you form the bow So again, I'm just going to tie it so it's tighter. And then I form the bow. This is where you need a mirror. Hence why I go off and film by the mirror. But all I'm doing is tucking in the end of the bow into the to form the bow shape really which is tricky but once you've got the hang of it or again if you only want to keep this one in a bow just keep it in a bow like this it's easy just to keep like this and put on and off because that is how I've had to untie all mine this morning then you put it on back over your head and push it up And there, this looks more like the next one. But this is the bow. I'll tweak it now in the... Ah, oh, you can see, it's quite cool actually. I like the bow. And you can have that in the middle of your head. I normally wear my to the side, but that's how I wear it. And I'll show you this more in depth by going over to check it in the mirror. So this is it. I've really tweaked the bow and pulled it out, as you can see so that it looks really bow-like, and I love it now, it's got the bow. The only thing I would say is that I would do this the other way around, that my natural pattern's here, and that's why it looks really funny. This is why it looks really weird here, and I'd make sure I rolled it up tighter. There, really. So I'd probably do it back to front, but this is what it looks like. And the bow is super cute. Okay, so this is a bit more complicated than I thought and I kind of had to have help from my mum, but we worked it out in the end. So, this is a single flower and I hope this tutorial really helps you. So you start with, I've got my large uh, pansy patterned one and you start with the corner to the corner, like so, and tying this in a knot, leaving a little bit out so you can pull it together. So you tie this in a knot, like so. Then you have it like this and you pull this corner through to this one and twist it over. Does that make sense? So you've got this top corner which is the original from this side and this one is the one you've pulled through. Yeah that's right. And then this one you pull through back through this way and this one you pull this way which I'll show you and I'm literally pulling it so it's forming the flower. You don't want to pull it too tight because obviously you want the flower to still show and then that is the flower and then you just tie this around your head now so it will be like this if you want obviously you can just twist it round so it forms the colouring better and then I'm just going to put my hair to one side oh god like that Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then tie this at the back. Like so. And then there you have your flower headband and again I will go adjust this in the mirror check it looks all right but that is pretty much it and I'll be back in a minute so this is the flower you can really see the flower there and I've just fiddled around with it so it makes the like back side of the um, wrap not showing as much and then I just tucked in the tie which you had there but it is super cute and I really like that and this is it and that is it for today's video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you wear knot wraps or if you would what one would you pick out for three i have got a few more that i would like i have used the bigger wraps on all of these because i actually could probably use the smaller wrap on this one but the other and and on the middle one but the first one i'd definitely use a big one but i yeah i hope you enjoyed Please also subscribe, push that notification bell to see when I post. Thanks for watching. Bye!